Well, hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today, I would like to brag that I am the proud owner of two new Sonia G brushes. I have purchased for myself as a little treat the Mini Kiyaki Buffer and the Mini Kiyaki Niji Brush. We are going to talk about them and we're going to very quickly demonstrate how to use them in case you were thinking of adding these to your natural hair brush collection. Okay, well, uh, these brushes will be familiar to anyone who has collected Sonia G brushes throughout the year. Uh, we'll start with the Mini Kiyaki Niji. This is an $85 brush and it is a version, a version, excuse me, of the uh, Niji Pro that we saw come out a while ago, except that this uh, mini version, the newer $85 version, has dyed Seikoho goat hair, and the Niji Pro has a combination of dyed and undyed. That's what gives it its little bit of lighter or blonde color. Um, other than that, if you own this brush, you are familiar with this one. Um, they have the exact same everything, as you can see, for the most part. It's just that this little new guy has a shorter handle. Now, for me, everything about me is short. Um, not, my, not my temper. I don't have a short temper, fortunately, but everything else about me is pretty small in stature. So I actually appreciate these little mini Kiyaki handles that Sonia G does. I They just fit in my hand better. I've got a small hand and I can use them better. So whenever Sonia G does these and I purchase them thinking I will use them as travel brushes, I end up using them as everyday brushes. Uh, this one, I trust me, is absolutely no exception. But whether you prefer this brand new mini uh, Kiyaki Niji or the Niji Pro. They're both great for bronzing, finishing powders. You know, they don't create streaks or harsh lines. As I say in the demo with this guy, unless you're using a darker powder, um, you will almost not feel as if you're putting anything on. It's like a little cloud. That's the truth, and you'll see me use it in a moment. And the other brush that I am thrilled to have purchased for myself is the Mini Kiyaki Buffer. This one is $75, again, will be familiar to Sonia G fans as it kind of mimics her um, original Buffer Pro, which when I bought it was called the Face One, but that would be the Buffer Pro now. I'm old school Sonia G, what can I say? And this um, little mini buffer that we had here, this is the mini Kiyaki brush buffer and has that beautiful, both of these, the beautiful Kiyaki wood from Japan and also has the shorter handle. So it's got, it's interesting, it's got that kind of easier handle like the mini buffer, but it's got the same size face as you see and a shorter handle, which for me is really nice. Um, and this is one of my favorite Sonia G brushes of all time. You make the handle a little shorter and you're gonna win admiration for me for sure. Now, um, what I have done, and we're gonna demonstrate these in a moment, is I made sure to cool my jets and wash these first. So here they are. Let me just show you really quickly. Here's a video when I first took them out of the packaging. And you can see the difference. These are unwashed brushes. Um, and you can see especially, I want you to look at the um, little um, buffer there the mini Kiyaki buffer. Look how it's got like some stray hairs, you know, hairs out of place. And I hear a lot of people tell me that. They go, I got my brush and the hairs are a little wild. Wash it first. So here it is washed and you can see, I don't know if my camera will show it, but all of that kind of goes back into place and it just tames everything down. They do, these natural hair brushes especially, do need, they need a little wash before you use them. And it's hard for me to quell my excitement and wash them, but it is important to do that. So these guys are freshly washed as all of Sonia G brushes are. These are artisanal. They are made in very, very small batches when they sell out, which they will. Right now they are still available and linked below for your buying pleasure. Um, but while when they sell out, they really do. I mean, they're made in very small batches. Sonia G takes trips to Japan. Uh, she's a very studious lady. If you've read her blog, Sweet Makeup Temptations, she takes this all very seriously creates really lasting, durable relationships with the artisans uh, with whom she works, tours, and gives reverence to uh, 
the creation, the process of creation with these brushes. And uh, she's so studious, so respectful, and quite amazing. So um, you can travel with her, in essence, on her blog, where she will tell you about the creation of these and the artisans and the process they go through, um, which is quite an art form. And the reason for, you know, the natural kiyaki wood, the Seikoho goat hair, the, the reason for the prices, you're paying for that craftsmanship and that attention to detail and the kind of old world um, artistic tradition which I agree is very, very important. But in case you are wondering how you would use these, and if you're thinking of adding them to your collection, I would like to show you me applying my bronzer and finishing powder. I love a good finishing powder, especially with this sort of a kabuki style brush. So I want to show you that stay right there. So excited to use these pretty much fresh out of the gate freshly laundered. And we are gonna start with our beautiful little mini kiyaki Niji, um, which really is, it looks just like the other. So I feel like I know how it'll work. And I love to use this for bronzing. I'm not a big contour fan, but I love it with a nice powder bronzer. And I think Charlotte Tilbury's is one of the best. So let me just show you how it works. Um, I love the shorter handle, I really do. So I like to get the powder. This is the um, lighter tan. I think I could probably go with my darker. Yeah, I sure can. Let's go with the darker, in fact. I brought it. I figured I'd need it. So here's the tan shade, a little bit darker. Let's go in there and just get a little bit of color on my face. Oh, this is absolutely divinely soft. It's had about 24 hours or so to dry. And it just puts such a beautiful veil of powder over that you can see the delineation there on the forehead because of the darker shade. If I weren't using a, a shade that may be a smidge too dark for my skin, I would almost not know that I had put it on because it disperses it so beautifully. And if you really want to get in there and suck in your cheekbones and do a really nice um, contour, that's not my thing, but if that is yours, you would be delighted. And for me, because I am small, I enjoy these lighter, smaller handles. And I think you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, now this is my favorite version of the brushes that Sonia G does, and I cannot live without my other two. So I'm thrilled to add this with this tiny little handle to the mix. And for that, I have brought out an old classic, which is my Guerlain Meteorites. I like to use powders like this with a bit of a shimmer as a finishing powder. Again, for those of you following along at home, finishing powder is when all of your makeup, like mine now, is finished. And you just want to make sure it's all blended together. Get rid of any little lines or delineation that you can see. And these are the little pearls, so I like to give them just a little bit of a shake. These smell like that violet candy you might have tried as a kid, right? Okay, and then you can just use what's on the cover there, or you can go directly in, it doesn't matter. And what I, sometimes I go directly in. Okay, and now we just buff in circles with this beautiful, soft, gentle touch. I'm just gonna do one side so you can kind of see what I mean. And take that area on the forehead that where you could really see where I had laid down that slightly dark bronzer, and I just use gentle buffing motions. You could be ungentle and it would still be gentle because this is such a soft, delightful brush. Going in again here. An absolutely beautiful, beautiful brush. And look at how it just completely finishes the face. Delightful and beautiful. For me, a welcome addition two of my favorite Sonia G brushes done in that just slightly smaller size. For some of you, that means travel. For me, it means every day, but you can take your choice. So let me know what you guys think. Did you order it? Did you say, oh, I have those already. I skipped. Understandable. They are a bit pricey, but I would love to know what you guys think because that's what makes us a community. So definitely give me your opinions down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I sure hope that you did. Make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already so we can keep growing and come say a big hello over on Instagram and TikTok too. Don't forget that you can support the madness that goes on on this channel by either becoming a member for behind the scenes footage or by giving super thanks, which so many of you have done and I appreciate appreciate it. But no matter what, I'm just happy to have you here. And I hope to see all of you 
in the next video. Bye-bye.